Welcome Internet Player 2, a YouTube Wrestling Circus Challenge response to the Off The Rope Show Central Sales Studies video called 10 Questions For Wrestling Fans. You know, before I start this video, by the way, I'm the Wrestling Shuffler, I have to say this, Sales Daddy, I'll call you Sales Daddy because, man, you are the best at selling an argument in all of the YouTube wrestling circus. I never saw nobody let like Jeff sales daddy to that before. Yeah, I gotta say, the way you sell your arguments, the way you believe them, and the way you make us believe, that's freaking contagious, man. I love your work ever since I saw your Jeff Jarrett position in 2011. Been an OTRS fan then, now, and freaking forever. Now, this is a response to the sales daddy. 12 questions for wrestling fans. Now, for those of you that watched my channel as a wrestling shuffler, you know, as well as I do, that I don't do things. Like many other wrestling channels, I'll do things in a different way, in a shuffling way, in a predictable way, and most importantly, my way. Having said that, I'm going to answer four questions out of the 12 of your video sales, Daddy. But, which one will they be? Will I answer the first four? The second four, or the final four? That's why I have these cups. By putting in these cups, I will select, shuffling them around, and answer the four of them. Without any further ado, let's start with all this shuffling this. <laughs> Okay, what well, I'm gonna answer will be the questions I'm going to answer today. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. This one, I'm going to answer to the second part, the second group of four questions. The questions are, what is your memorable, most memorable moment as a wrestling fan? I've been a wrestling fan since 2006 and Officially in 2006 and to be quite honest being a 13 year old kid. I was a I was like living like most wrestling fans were in the 80s. I was a mark I believed in everything they throw at me uh, I didn't know what kayfabe was what storytelling was. I didn't know nothing about wrestling. I didn't have internet at the time so by being an official WWE fan in 2006 Around that time, my most memorable moment probably is Edge spearing the freaking hell out of Mick Foley at WrestleMania 22. Seeing a guy spearing this baby face in the table of fire, and by that time, I kind of knew wrestling was fake, but uh, like many other wrestling or superhero shows, I always believed that the good guys prevailed. And I believed that Mick Foley was really the hardcore legend and would kick Edge's ass. So, when I was proved wrong and Edge speared Mick Foley into that table of fire and win the goddamn match, I man, I was pissed at Edge. I said, "God damn it, man! He should have won. Mick Foley should have been the guy that won that match." 
So, probably that is my most memorable moment. Edge! The f sparing Mick Foley into the table of fire. S second question is... What is your favorite wrestling company today? Since 2006 until now, Raw World Wrestling Entertainment. I don't care about CNA, I don't care about ROH, I don't care I mean, not a thing about the other indie shows. Uh, I, be I believe that Shikara, uh, Shikara the wrestling promotion is a, bit, a little bit underrated. More, most people should check it out because it has that character feeling into it that most uh, don't seem to have anymore. But yeah, WWE guy Dan and WWE WWE guy forever. <clears throat> Who is your favorite wrestler today? Dean Ambrose, by far the man is his. Ex Facial expressions, the way he cuts his promos as a vicious street dog, the way he sounds on his voice, the way he handles his mic, and the way he presents himself out of the rink. I develop a personal connection with Dean Ambrose as a fan. I really could relate to him. I, in some aspects, I live vicariously through him. He reminds me. A lot of me in some ways, especially the over-the-top facial expressions. So yeah, what do you like about professional wrestling today? Um, character development, I love the characters we have now. And most importantly, I love the athleticism by Roman Reigns, by Seth Rollins, the other indie guys. I believe that most wrestling moves today are done in a very smooth way that you know that these guys are athletes these guys in ring work in ring work excuse me are off the chain i love that i love everything they do i feel we have better athletes than we ever did uh, wrestling wise more moves in ring work top notch so this has been my Four questions to you, Mr. Jeff Sales Daddy. This has been the Wrestling Shuffler. You best see my goddamn video. And if you like these kind of responses from me, if you like this kind of game from me, check my other games. Uh, give your cards down below. Give your... Uh, answers down below as well. This has been the Wrestling Shuffler, and all I got to say is, see you next card game. Oh, by the way, meet Andy. Andy, the sales day. Andy, Andy, my friend, my assistant is a big fan of yours. Now, I'll officially gotta say. See you next card game!